history, but beautifully told. Vultures are without a doubt very important in an ecosystem. Vultures are often regarded as garbage collectors since they play a unique role in clearing carcasses, which pose a danger to other creatures in an ecosystem. But this bird is now under siege and has been classified among endangered species globally. Joash Shonsari visited the Lower Wildlife Conservancy and filed this report on the vultures. The existence of birds in an ecosystem and the surrounding communities is not a mistake but a purposeful creation. But naturally some people chase away these birds with some believing they are distractors or even dangerous. This is Lewa Wildlife Conservancy in Meru County. In this conservancy, these birds are home. No human activities making it a friendly environment for the birds. Meet Eunice Kamau, an avian researcher with Lewa Wildlife Conservancy. Eunice tells me, apart from birds being beauty to the environment, they are bioindicators in monitoring the health of the environment. Birds are very, uh, play a very critical role in the ecosystem because they are used as uh, biological indicators. For example, like a group of birds, uh, like wet rat birds, which are the water birds, you get that when the population declines, that one can tell you something about the health of the ecosystem because birds are very small and therefore they can easily detect they will be easily affected by any slight change in the ecosystem for example pollution it will take a long time for an elephant to feel the effect of pollution uh, than birds therefore the bird population will be greatly affected by a slight change in the environment for example slight change in pollution and therefore you get that their population will decline so when you monitor the population when you have a very close monitoring of the population and you get that there is a certain decline of the bird population in a certain ecosystem then that tells you something about the health of the whole ecosystem something is really wrong with that ecosystem. To some, a bird is just a bird, but some birds are considered unique. Take for instance, a vulture that feeds on carcasses the vulture can't kill. Vultures have a very strong digestive system and therefore the disease-causing microorganisms serve as food for vultures which would otherwise cause disease to human beings. Therefore, they are our garbage collectors that's why we refer to them as garbage collectors because otherwise uh, the diseases like anthrax they would spread to wildlife human beings and even cause death but now vultures come in and collect that waste for us and therefore we are healthy. Kenya has eight species of vultures out of 23 species available worldwide in which Lewa alone is home to six species. So out of the eight species of vultures found in Kenya, here on Lewa we have six species and all the vultures are endangered and in the past five decades they have been facing a large population decline and there are just very few. For example, we have one species called the Lamagaya. We have very few individuals remaining in Kenya. I think there are less than four individuals uh, remaining in Kenya. Therefore, all the rest, most of them are critically endangered. And then if conservation efforts are not taken, then this population is going to crash. Vultures face many threats that are endangering their populations. Poisoning is the biggest threat to the vultures, primarily from toxins or lead in the carcasses they eat. Another threat that is facing the vultures, apart from unintentional poisoning, we have collision by the energy power lines where, where they have uh, development in energy infrastructure. So because vultures have large wingspan, therefore when they are flying very high, they will collide with these uh, masts and power lines and therefore that causes another uh, threat to their population decline. Other hazards include being hit by speeding cars as they feed on carcasses along the road and electrocution by power lines. Researchers believe if there is no urgent intervention, vultures will be extinct just like dodos. 
conservation efforts have are in place so we have virtual people who are uh, engaged in virtual research and they are advocating for what can be done to save uh, the population of the vultures for the unintentional poisoning it's when now the local communities and the conservation sector they have to collaborate and come up with new ways of solving the human wildlife conflict new technologies that will not um, cause the death of the vultures or when they don't resolve it using the poisoned carcass and all that. Many a times the vultures die through unintentional poisoning by pastoralist communities who try to keep off lions and jackals from their livestock. Local pastoralists will prefer killing one goat and poisoning it and save the rest from uh, being fed by predators like lion and also like cheetahs. So when the local communities keep that bait to keep off the predators, or in short, they want the predator to come, feed on the carcass and they die. But in between now, before like, let's say today the predator, the lion didn't come. So the vultures now will just sense, they use their strong sense uh, for finding food. Therefore, when they come and find that poisoned meat, which the local community kept it there, unintentionally wanting to kill the vultures, automatically the vultures will feed on the poisoned carcass and therefore they will die. And because vultures come in large numbers, you get that one carcass which is poisoned can kill more than 100 vultures at a go. Some people still hold on to those cultural beliefs that when they see vultures, they see death, and therefore what follows is that they persecute these birds just because of those tight cultural beliefs. Although that one is not common, but some cultures still hold um, uh, that, uh, those beliefs. Due to the reducing numbers of the vultures in the world, researchers encourage communities living near conservancies to preserve the birds for a healthy environment. For example, we've said that the vultures they are our garbage collectors. Instead of that carcass causing a spreading of diseases like anthrax, killing our livestock, killing our wildlife, why don't we preserve that bird so that we have a continued, um, we have a continued service that that bird will give us there too that concerns our health. The researcher have found out that vultures don't live long, hence pose a danger on reduction of its population globally. They don't have a long lifespan. So what they have is their breeding rate is very low and therefore that's also another challenge to their population. So they don't breed regularly and also their chicks, very few of them will make it to maturity and that also poses a problem to their population decline. Scientists have begun to study vultures' unique senses and abilities and are considering using the birds to help find bodies from crime scenes. Studying how vultures find a body and how quickly it can consume the body can be useful for forensic analysis. Through the awareness programs conducted by different organizations that target uh, birds in Kenya, like for example Nature Kenya, we also have the Peregrine Fund that um, focuses on the vultures. Therefore, that one has uh, sparked some passion in the people, especially in the Kenyan um, country, and therefore they are really trying and it's really picking up and doing very well in Kenya. Annually, there are bird competitions globally. In this year's e-bird competition that took place in the month of October, Kenya was ranked top in Africa, an indication that Kenya is home to many species of birds. A very successful global big day, especially for Kenya. We came top six globally by submitting the highest total number of species even in Africa we were number one and also we have biodiversity hotspots we have bird watching hotspots Lewa Wildlife Conservancy uh, was ranked the fourth biodiversity hotspot and a bird hotspot uh, in Kenya for submitting um, uh, for submitting 
na the highest number of birds. So we came forth, so we had a total of 183 species that we submitted in a span of 24 hours. So what has made successful bird watching, especially here on Lewa, is we use citizen science. We have our guides who are very passionate in birding. We have even the locals and we also have other birds enthusiasts. In the world, there are 23 species of vultures. The bird is relatively social. They have a unique character of excellent senses of smell and sight to locate food. However, their feet are weak and can't carry food. When it is hot, the vultures pee on their feet to cool off. Their head and neck are bare to block bacteria from carcasses to burrow and cause infections. The vultures, when threatened, they vomit to lighten their body in order to run away. Vultures enjoy their own holiday, International Vultures Awareness Day, which is celebrated on the first Saturday of each September. Hundreds of zoos, aviaries, nature preservers worldwide participate each year with fun and informational activities about vultures in helping everyone learn just how interesting and valuable these birds are. Josh Onsare, TV 47 Lewa Wildlife Conservancy, Meru County.